Live game against the 2027 player. Alright. Let's do that. So in the opening, he blundered his rook, as you see here. Now I will gladly take that away from him. Now I will do this. Threatening his queen and his pawn. Or actually threatening the trade pawn, more likely. More likely than not. What? He takes a pawn instead of queen. However, queen would have made would have made him threaten a rook. Alright. Now let's make sure this that this guy now hopefully this guy doesn't do anything very uh If this guy tends to prevent me from castling, and then I will do something about it. Don't know what I do, but <sighs> queen to b three. That's a that's a pretty good move. At least now the b pawn's gone. Oh, he hung the pawn. So, what is he going to do now? Resign? Probably won't. He's a 2027. A 2027 can always beat me. And, uh... He'll lose 16 from this game if he loses the game. So, my guess is he won't resign yet. I'm just going to put that rub back. I don't know why, but I'm just going to put the rub back. Okay, let's move knight there. I think that was a... Not not that bad of a move, but not that good, not that, not a good, not a great one, not a good, not a good move either. Okay, let's see, assuming he takes that pawn with the knight. He doesn't, he does not take pawn with knight. So, since that happens, I will force a queen trade. Hopefully this doesn't make him want to resign. Actually, hopefully it does. Hopefully this, hopefully this makes him resign. He pins the rook. Okay, he takes a knight. 